button on your notification bell. You will still get those information you are looking for. Thank you. In the north, we have chosen our preferred presidential candidate, Ango Ablahi, is saying. Now, the convener of the Northern Aiders Forum, Nef, Ango Ablahi, says the North has settled for a presidential candidate of his choice. The Aiders statesman made this known in an interview with Tribune, where he spoke about the 2023 presidential election. He, however, did not reveal the identity of the presidential candidate. He disclosed that the Northern Aiders Forum and Ohanes and Debo, the APES, social, cultural, cum political, organization meeting on the candidates sub to support in the forthcoming election. Abdullah, he said, after the meeting with Johannes and other stakeholders that are interested in the election, the preferred candidate would be revealed. The former vice chancellor of the Ahmadu Bello University Zaria, Karina said, I quote, in a meeting we had some weeks ago, we choose our preferred candidate. We have reached that point but I will not tell you who the person is for now. Neff is still discussing with other stakeholders from other parts of the country who are interested in the elections. Even today, we are having meetings with the representatives of the Ohaneze in Abuja, end of quote. And so that is the statement from the Northern Aiders Forum, the convener, Ablahi Ango. And so these are the people who are talking about the elections and they are meeting with Ohaneze. All right, they said they have chosen their own preferred candidate. You see, the race is between a northerner, a northern Muslim, and a southern Muslim, and also a southern Christian. Talking about the Labour Party, the All Progressive Congress, and the People's Democratic Party. That is the race. And it happens that both the trio are each from a, the, the, the three major ethnic group. Yes. One is from the House of Fulani. The other is from the Yoruba. And uh, we have uh, the Igbo. Okay? Pitobi representing the Igbo. So, and we have seen it. Nigeria selection process or, or election or charade as the case may be, have never been this way in the history of Nigeria. So this is the first time it is going this direction. And so it behoves a lot on the nation or the contraption. Now, the Northern people said, look, we have picked our own candidate. But here they failed to mention the name of that candidate, whether it is their own brother, Atika Abaka, or the APC candidate, Bola Metinibu, who said it is his own right, hereditary privilege to occupy the number one seat in Nigeria at this point in time. And all people be of the Labour Party from the South East and Ibu and Biafra who insisted that he is coming on the level of capacity, competent and performance not just because he is from an Ibu or he is from Ibu or South East that has been marginalized that has been relegated to the background that has been subjugated and enslaved since 1970, the war ended. Okay? So, what is happening in Nigeria is the, is the fact that the polity is being heated. We look about the polity and everything from Marshall Rock, from the All Progressive Congress, the ruling party, those strange bedfellows, you see that the conception is winding down. It's winding down. If they survive this one, and that means, you know, it will still take them two or three years, okay? If the country will, for the eventual collapse, it will take them up to two or three day, or three years again, because it will not take time, we are telling you, for this contraction to, to, to collapse. But if they fail this period to collapse, because there are indications that they will collapse, the contraction will collapse, the indication is rife, we have seen it, it's everywhere. You can see the signal, yes, and so the Northern Elders said they have met and they will continue to meet and negotiate with the Ohanese and the Ibo. But one thing is paramount. There are divisive elements in this country. Divisive elements. 
they want to ensure that this country go up in flames. And they will blame it on the other person or the other group. And that's what we are saying. Do not, do not be deceived this time around. When they shouted Araba, Araba, in those heydays, nobody actually you know, instigated them. On their own volition, they want to succeed. But at last, they were you know, persuaded not to by high authorities in the international scene. But this time around, if they decide to, you know, to let the cat out of the bag, so be it. So because you cannot say, oh, you want one Nigeria. And we have seen you consistently negating that principles of one Nigeria. Nobody will believe you. So the era of deceiving people is gone. People are wiser now. And that's why we are calling our own people, mobilizing them to stand firm for referendum. That is the best option. All these things we are seeing is abracadabra. It will not lead to any meaningful destination. It will not get us to the promised land. It is just, you know, at the ephemeral, at the periphery. It's not thorough, it's not rooted. Tomorrow now you start, people will start crying. I said, look, the economy has gone down the drain because we have said it. No magician exists in this country. No magician. No magician. We have seen that person who has the magic wand to do the impossible. You can only do what is possible. You cannot achieve impossibility. You cannot go against the law of nature. Okay? And we have seen Nigeria as a situation that, look, you, there's nothing you can do to amend the things that has gone out in this country because they have foundation, foundational problems. You must get to the root. And how do you get to the root? You have seen that Nigeria is a case of, you know, beyond the bit and mokotarism. Yes. Because anything you do, the other person will look at you as you want to overwhelm him, as you want to demand him, as you want to dominate him. Because this is the fierce fear of dominance has been the abatros of Nigerian prosperity and unity. This person is afraid. You will dominate me. That is the what we call you know mutual mistrust. It is in innate in Nigerians. Political uh, you know leaders and the elites. It is in them. Those who have destroyed the country, it is in them. Those who are calling the shot, it is in them. Those who are pulling crowds of ignorant people from their region, it is in them. So how do you expect Nigerians to move forward? Because they will go and speak to the ignorant crowds and they will start following them. They have to have a deep reasoning of what they are doing. Because they, don't have, they have no independent uh, you know, decision or thoughts. They only believe what these leaders are telling them. They are so-called leaders. The political debaners, the deceivers, the looters, those who have destroyed the country. And so that is it. That is what we are saying today about the discussions the Northern Asia Forum are having with Johannes.